what's up everybody we are back Whew. you all i missed you all so so much like i said if you watched the halloween kills trailer that um uh, basically i just came back from a two-week vacation did a lot a lot of sightseeing a lot of famous family locations i'm gonna drop gonna be dropping them videos real soon i went to nightmare toys in vegas Got that as a video coming soon. Met a bunch of cool people over there. A lot of stuff, man. I got a lot, a lot of stuff coming soon. And you all have a lot of things coming, like stuff that unbox, which we're doing today. Something I picked up from Nightmare Toys. Not everything, but just one thing. And um, yeah, and another so big surprise. Um, next week, me and my girlfriend, we will be traveling down to Indiana for a weekend to go to Days of the Dead. Voila, boom, there's a surprise. We're going to Days of the Dead, we're gonna check out some of our merch and you know, collectible tables. And we are actually meeting a few celebrities from our favorite horror movies. I'm not gonna tell you all, we're gonna keep that a surprise, keep you guys on your toes. But I definitely already got some photo ops booked. Just stay tuned, you guys will see it. But yeah, I have a nice, nice, nice piece I'm very excited about today that we're going to be unboxing. And yeah, this piece we have today is um, the Halloween 516 scale from Trick or Treat Studios. And if you guys been keeping up with me on my channel, you guys should be happy for me because you guys should know that I actually completed the 16 scale Michael Myers um, figures from Trick or Treat Studios. I have it you all here we go so yeah you all i finally completed the um the series i got halloween one halloween um four five and 2018 and if that counts i have the halloween three figures from NECA. but here's the box halloween five the revenge of michael myers I have one of my favorite characters jamie lloyd daniel harris just pretty much the poster up here I have behind my, you know, backdrop thing. Got a nice picture of him, Michael Myers. Um, basically, I like. I can't believe like, see how they got the front post of this mask almost look like the '78 mask. But then when the movie came out, the mask, okay, the turntable was coming on point. Looks like this. So I never got that, but it's cool because I still like all the Halloweens because I'm a Halloween fan. And yeah. We'll give it one more go around up close. Got the gloss, you know. And yeah, man, can't wait to get this figure open. I'm so happy I completed it like I promised you all I will. And I actually picked this up from <coughs> Nightmare Toys. <coughs> I'm sorry, Nightmare Toys. And uh, this is a piece that I picked up. So Christy, if anyone from Nightmare Toys is watching this, I told you I was going to pick some stuff up. And I came through and I did, and it wasn't nothing cheap. This is actually it was a nice price. About how much was it? They're going for 160 over there. And yeah, see, has the Nightmare Toy sticker right there. So you all know that video is definitely coming. Um, yeah, man, I picked this up over there. If I had, you know, if I was lacking on another Myers, I definitely would have picked that up. But okay, so we have a picture of Michael Myers right here on this side of the box and it says I pray that he will burn in hell but in my heart I knew that hell would have not had him nice and we have him right here in the box comes with the hands the knife pretty much like the other ones I'm just happy to have it and complete it so yeah we're gonna get this boy unboxed and um give it a few go rounds and yeah we're gonna talk more horror so you all if you're in a 1-6, you know, how would I say, gang or whatever, and you buy 1-6 things, especially from Trick or Treat Studios, you know, to be safe, you have to use a hot blow dryer to take the hands out, or you will break it. Because I didn't experience it, but I done heard a lot of rumors about it. But, yeah, here he is. You all, the Halloween 5, Michael Myers. And, um, I actually like this. So to get started, you all, man, first off, the body looks big, bro. I don't know why, maybe I'm tripping. I'm definitely gonna do a video comparing all of them real soon, you all, all my Halloween figures from Trick or Treat. And um, this is one of the hand sculpts um, right here. 
It has that burn effect on it. Obviously from Halloween 4. I mean, no, not from Halloween 4. I'm so sure. Halloween 2 when he got burned. And um, yeah, you all. It, but it's like, it looks like the Halloween 4 hand. There's the knife. Sweet. You know, looks got that metal look, boom. Right there. That's the handle, got that metal look, which I will put in his hand very soon. But you all, okay. If you all, let me let that focus. If you watch Halloween 5, you do know the mask is different from the 78, of course. And um, for some reason, his collar on Halloween 5 is like <laughs> under his mask. I want to say maybe because whoever made the mask, it was um, big. So I'll try my best to get it under there, but I don't want it to break anything. I used the knife to tuck it a little bit, but maybe after this video, I'll try to mess with it a little bit more to get it more accurate. But um, everyone's in inbox me on my Instagram, like, hey man, are you gonna touch your figures or something to pat them out or something to make them look? Yes, I was waiting to get all of them. I'm definitely gonna mess around with that 18, some more with the body and stuff. Probably get some new bodies. I just wanted to get them all on hand, you know, to see which ones I'm gonna touch. Definitely probably trying to get the, um, 78 under control and stuff like that. They're all actually very, very accurate. You all, there's the box again. You all, Trick Tree Studios, please try to make a Daniel Harris. You, you got the Halloween 5 Myers right here. You might as well make the, you know, put her with him. But let's get a close up on the mask. I like how they painted those hairs on the neck to make it look, you know, you can't even notice it until I just told you how they just painted the hairs on the neck and stuff like that. There's a close-up of the scope, the blacked out eyes. They even had a triangle on the nose. Yes, I'm that big of a Myers fan. I think it was because someone face couldn't fit, I wanna say, so they took the nose out and um, yeah, they took the nose out and tried to basically cast another one on, I wanna say, place the placement of another nose. But I'm a Myers fan, so Myers is Myers to me, I love him. Can't wait for Halloween Kills. If you haven't checked out that review video of the trailer, please go check that out. And yeah, let's put the knife in his hand, get him a couple poses, and we're gonna be done. You all, he has the knife, which sealed the deal, actually. So, take two. <laughs> Myers down for the count. We have the knife in his hand, which sealed the deal, actually. See how the knife glares, have it pointing downwards, and just like that scene when he was on um, Daniel Harris's. I think she was in the uh, wait, what was it? Oh, yeah, when well, she was laying in a little coffin thing, and she was like, Uncle, and he just starts stabbing her.
crazy. I don't know why. Man, it's, I like this one, man. It's like, maybe because <clears throat> the look was so crazy, they nailed it. So I like it because they did a great job. I like that glare on the knife. Look, man. Looks like he's just walking. That's how I think I'm gonna pose you, man. It's just so sweet. Look. Yeah. But I need to definitely get a stand because I haven't been getting any one six stands. I'm gonna have to hit my boy up, Diabolical Designs. If you um don't know who that is, go check out my video on the Halloween 78. Um, I have a stand from him. He does great stands. Definitely gonna get four or five and an 18 stand from him. Definitely. But yeah, look, we just got another go round. That's the boogie, man. And when these had came out, you all, a lot of people were saying that, nah, I don't think I'm going to get it. I don't like the five, I don't like the four. You cannot be a Halloween fan and not get all of these, bro, just to say you have them. That's, that's what I believe, but it's just my opinion. You cannot just get the 78 and the 18 you have to get all of them just to complete you will have that little hole in your heart that you didn't complete it so definitely am so happy these are on my list so so happy i have myers one six for everyone i was just asking someone this a year ago or oh, they're going to bring out a four and a five figure like, i've never seen a four and a five so thank you trick-or-treat studios for bringing that out man it's a dream come true for us, us Meyer fans. Got that. Get it a good angle, man. Look. Damn. Look at that angle right there, bro. That is sick. Look. One more time. That ain't Myers, you all. That's him. We like this, but you know, this is definitely Myers. Look. Well, you all that's the end of that video i told you all i was gonna have an unboxing for you all i completed my one six scale myers collection unless trick-or-treat studios you have something up their sleeve maybe a rob zombies come on give it to us man rob zombie <coughs> pretty sure they're gonna do a kills hopefully you guys do a lori strode if not i'm just gonna get a custom but lori strode and loman's one six even daniel harris jamie lloyd definitely have a customer right here that's going to buy you all and I know if you guys do a Dame hair, I mean, I know if you guys do a Lori Strode and a Dr. Lums, it's going to sell out just like that two-pack from NECA, that Halloween two-pack. But you all have some other stuff coming, some other unboxings, you all. I promise, like I told you all, I told you all I was going to do all these things, and I did it. Not to keep repeating myself, I just want the new subscribers to know that I'm loyal to my subs, and I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. So, you all, that's the Halloween 516 unboxing. Please don't forget tomorrow to tune in to Fright Night Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I didn't forget. You all were just on vacation. We're back at it. Let's talk horror. And I have some more videos, like I said. I have me, um, you know, when I went to Nightmare Toys, talked to a few of them guys over there. They're super cool. Me going in their store. Man, these guys had autographs of horror villains. Not villains, of horror. Just horror in general. Autographs in their bathroom. Plus art. And shit, man. I had I got everything on camera, bro. It was so crazy. I even got questioned on camera. A horror question. They questioned me from I like scary. A horror question. Stick around and see what that question was when that video is uploaded, and see if I got it right. Am I really a horror fanatic like I say I am? We shall see. But you all don't forget to hit me up on my social medias at I like scary. Um, on Instagram at Brandon Allen on Facebook, TikTok is I like scary 077. Let me make sure that's what it is, you all. I, sometimes I drop a few, you know, my horror vids over there, little snippets, 
And um, yes, it's I Like Scary 77, you all. But yeah, it's your boy Brandon from I Like Scary, man. I appreciate all the love and support, man. Don't forget to tune in on Friday Night Fridays tomorrow, and we are out. Peace. <laughs>